Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host, Bruce Outrich, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. Hey, everybody. How are we doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 1036. And today we're going to tell you about the cat scales. That's right. No, not a place where they have kitty cats. This is actually a place where you weigh your trucks. Many of you have done this over the years. But did you ever know where they start? And yeah, some of you may have seen it. Depending on where you are, there's a video out there, I think, from like 1977 (laughs) that talks about it. Uh, But we'll get into that in a minute right after this. So uh, stay tuned and let's uh let's get started shall we let's hear from our friends at uh, rims transport first get things going Hey folks, are you an owner operator looking for a place to call home? Well, Rims Transport is based out of Hamilton, Ontario, and that's right. They are a place owner operator fleet only. They run flatbed out of uh, Hamilton, and they don't run much more than five to seven hundred mile radius. So, if you're looking for a place that you can get back home on a regular basis, you can get good miles. They have a great culture for owner operators, and they want you to succeed. Then Rims Transport's the place to do that. Where can you learn more? Go to RimsTransport.com. Make sure you tell them that the Lead Pedal Podcast sent you, and we want you to be successful. We know them personally over there, and we know they're going to take good care of you. you got open board. You've got uh, Tandem US. You've got uh, multi-axle US. you got city. you got all kinds of positions available there, all owner-operator fleet. So if you want to be successful for 2023 and beyond, then get on with Rims Transport and tell them we sent you. All right, everybody, talk to you later. Go to RimsTransport.com. All right, so, uh, hey, you know what? Today's a Turn Back Tuesday. You know what that means? All right, all right folks. folks, turn, turn back, back the clocks. Clean up the spokes. This is another edition of Turn Back Tuesdays with your host, Bruce Out. All right, so let's get started. You guys have talked about cat scales for a long time, and you probably have heard them around. But did you know how they actually got started? And much like McDonald's, it often takes one person to come in that's not actually part of the program and let you know what's going on. And that person uh, was uh, a person named uh, Bill uh, Bill May- Bill May- Mayhew, um, and he was actually a truck stop owner. So uh, Bill Mayhew, he was. Um, uh, he had an enthusiasm and a gift for Gab, and he owned a truck stop down, uh, he was managing a pilot truck stop in Florida that happened to have a cat scale, and so he thought this was a really great idea. Um, when the person that uh, had the cat scale came into town to check on the cat scale, he talked to them about expanding and said he knew some people that might be interested. And uh, that was the day he, so they said, okay, well, how many how many cat scales do you think you, uh, you could put in? And he said, well, um, the, the, or how many? They, he what he did? He asked them how many cat scales they wanted, and they said fifteen. <laughs> Today there's eight hundred and fifty. Um, anyway, <laughs> apparently he got orders coming in so fast they didn't know if they were going to be able to fulfill these um, cat scales. And, you know, it's funny, we see them in the larger networks now, but it was the smaller truck stops. It's funny, the smaller truck stops took the chance first. Smaller truck stops are gone for the most part. And it's the big chains now that have them. Now, for those of you who don't know what a cat scale is or don't know, it's um, uh, certified uh, certified waste station is what it's 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 called. We call it a cat scale. Um, but you weigh your truck there, and uh, you find out uh, you know how much your axles weigh, how much the the truck weighs all together, um, and then you either bill your customer that way or at least you can go down the road knowing that you've um that you've got all of the um you know important uh important that you're legal to go down the road now before that for those of you that are old school like me before that you know that they had um they had cat scales and they were not cat scales they were like independent way stations uh i know i started in the moving industry so this was a big thing we had to move we had to weigh every time we put on a shipment on a truck we had to go and weigh the load because that's how you charge the customer you charge them by the pound the average house is six to twelve thousand pounds so you would charge them by the pound and that's how they <laughs> that's how you, you got paid so you wanted to make sure you had an accurate ticket the problem is that a lot of those scales were not accurate at the time. <laughs> you know, they're in, they're in like uh, uh, lumber yards and they were in, uh, you know, um, uh, gravel pits and all that kind of stuff, right? So you never kind of knew if they were certified or whatever. Same thing for truckers, right? They loaded their truck. They never knew if they actually, uh, you know, <laughs> were, were legal what it said on the paper because a lot of times the scales w- weren't uh, balanced properly or set properly. Uh, so now CAT scale came out and the big thing about cat scale is that they said we will we will 
back up every ticket. So we'll either go to court, pay the ticket, whatever it is. And that, of course, is going to, um, you know, make you feel a whole lot of a whole lot of be- a whole lot better, <laughs> a whole lot about uh, what 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 you're doing out there on the road. Right. So it's funny. So that they started that was 1977 is when the cat scales came in. And it began to build scales uh, uh, that would fit a whole truck. That was a big thing because a lot of them you had to, uh, you know, drive one axle at a time. So it was good that they got into that. Uh, it was accurate enough to be certified for something like produce. That was a big leap forward. And then uh, uh, when Dick Schernick and the ticket colors should be distinct, the bright yellow definitely made it stand out from other scale tickets. Um, the CAT certificate is worth a fortune to a driver. They said that is the selling tool for this whole thing. The, the scale official sees that the yellow scale in a driver's pocket they know the truck is is good to go so that's uh that's been a big thing uh they say their formula for success was to find a good deal good idea work 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 and end up with a great business and of course having lots of good people like bill mayhew is who how they did that and i hope you got a big big uh just uh so they say in 2016 they built a hundred scales just in 2016 so you can pretty well see them everywhere they're at um you can go onto their website catscale.com and you can find locations and all of that kind of stuff uh but that's a little bit of history for those of you who uh, have probably been using them for years and didn't really know where they started or didn't really care just wanted to make sure you were legal that's the way to do it for sure and that's uh, uh pretty cool that's why we're doing these turn back tuesdays we want to make sure that you're uh you're understanding <laughs> where you came from speaking of cat uh do i have a do i have a message for you from the people at cat transport Hey folks, have you heard of CAT Transport? That's right, they are one of the leading carriers in Canada. They've been best managed fleet for many years. They are a very large carrier that operates right across North America. And uh, the best way to find out about what they have to offer is to go to cat.ca and then click on the careers button. But let me tell you some of the things that are available to you right now. They've got locations based in key metropolitan areas across North America. You do not have to work out of Quebec even though they're a Quebec based carrier. They have operations for you anywhere where that you live. Total health benefits are available right off the bat. Remote work options, compensation that is competitive with the industry. Company matching pension plan. Hey, why not grow while they're growing? And on-site health and wellness programs are available. They've got career growth opportunities because they're a fast-growing company and they provide a work-life balance that they believe is best of the best skills development and training programs will keep you advancing in your career so that you can spend a long time with cat so check out cat transport at cat.ca and check on the click on the careers button to find out all about it and by the way tell them that the lead pedal podcast sent you all right there you go uh that's uh cat transport and they probably use cat scales too so <laughs> anyway you can recognize the cat scale they've got the yellow and black uh the black uh cat face on a yellow uh yellow scale ticket if you were a new driver um so how do you work this a lot of times they're not where you're loading uh you actually have to go in um you know, uh, you might have to drive, so you should know where they are. And if you're if you're doing things professionally, trip planning and all that, you should really have a good idea. You should know your truck, you should know your load, uh, and you really should know when it is that you really need to weigh and when you don't need to weigh. I often tell people anything under 30,000 pounds, I'm probably not going to weigh it because you're probably not over over enough if you load your truck properly. Uh, when you're up at that 40, 45, 46, then yeah, you're going to weigh it and make sure that you're right on the money. Um, they give you free weighs and everything so anyway good uh good history lesson there from the folks at cat hopefully that helped you and we'll uh catch you later my friends hey follow us on social we're on instagram facebook twitter uh tiktok linkedin i haven't gone to this threads thing yet but we're still working on it <laughs> hey if you got a you want if you're a fan club member hey send us in your lead pedal 1000 uh lead pedal 1000 shots let's see if we can get a thousand photos um before the before november all right that's how we're doing it okay my friends have a good one we will talk to you later bye for now this has been another episode of the lead pedal podcast for more information or to subscribe to the podcast visit the leadpedalpodcast.com and be sure to follow the podcast on facebook and twitter